Hi, morning to you laddies. My name is Assassin, and we are playing a game called Midnight Scenes. Um, I saw a little bit of a gameplay about this game, and it looked interesting. Uh, Midnight Scenes, the Highway Special Edition. This short game you're about to experience was the first one I ever created by myself. A Labber of Love released for the first time in September 2017, re re-released by them, I can't read that. But, uh, yeah. Um, it looked interesting, and I, I wanted to try it out. Midnight Scenes! A bite-sized game by Akabi Navarro. Sorry if I butchered that. Claire Barnes, age 29, she's a, about to discover the kinds of people that lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. Okay. A, a, a flat tire delayed. That's a, <laughs> that's a weird way to spell tire. It's cool, don't get me wrong. It's just, I never seen it actually uh, spelled like that. Uh, delayed Claire's trip. Little did she suspect how this incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Also, apparently there, there's like three parts, I think. I'm no the radio! Turn it back on! Tonight's episode, The Highway. Is the the thing that's scary about this game the, the fears of traffic and not making it home in time for dinner? You got a nice car. I don't think you should touch that. An unexpected obstacle is a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help if she wants to resume her journey as soon as possible. Just find Leon. Fortunately, she noticed noticed a signal pointing to a nearby emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Can I, can I actually move her around? Um. Oh, I can't. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's not go that way. Oh, God. That's a creepy face. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can actually go there. <laughs> Just get in my car and drive away. Drive away from my problem. That's a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. What's over here though? Missing poster. Tore down. Is this the same missing poster, or is this just the, the same one as all the rest? Oh, that's how you leave. Hello? Are you a lot- Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, look at this happy family that probably got murdered. Is he missing an arm? Oh, maybe little Billy. No, probably take those. Oh, I need a key. I got a piece of rope. Can I pick the lock with a piece of rope? What's this? How to build a dummy? <laughs> you don't need to, because there's one right here. <laughs> I think I need a key. Oh, I didn't see that. Maybe I can interact with this thing now. Oh, I didn't even see that. Ah. Can I do anything with these? Anything at all? Maybe it's... Nope. Okay. There you go. I'm putting you back together. Oh! 
So you have to get it in a. Okay, so it's like a switch. You have to act. This bodes well. Yeah. Flashing lights inside of a building. You're asking to die, lady. What the fuck is wrong with you? As my son is in here adorable and has us alone when the zombies attack. And, and can I look at the other painting? Hey, there is a demon in here. I know karate. Not really, but if I say that, maybe I'll scare him off. Yeah, turn off the TV. Which thing I like to I, I picked the wrong... Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean to go with it. I'm looking for the mailbox, actually. <laughs> My stubby little hands. Here lies magnet. It's my favorite magnet. Maybe I could hammer it. Hammer time. You know, Claire, you're useless. Honestly. This is why your husband left you. This is why Fernando left. Because he didn't want to deal with your bullshit. Oh my god. I'm such stinky brain. God. Okay, so now do we do this? Oh. There we go. There we go. Now we can climb into the tree house. Don't fall and die, because that would make the game very quick. <laughs> okay, okay. Now what? What did I even get? Yeah. So. Go down? I, I go in the bathroom, I guess? I don't know. I'm coming back! Better not be a dead body. Oh my god, I'm looking beautiful though! Like, God bless! <laughs> Sir? Oh, there's a key. Sir! Do you need assistance? Easy. He's tired, you know. Been a long day. I don't know how to like use these controls, so I'm not gonna lie. You put the key in the keyhole and you take it and you keep going. <laughs> no, we can't go yet, Claire. I know you want to get the fuck out of here. But we can't yet. Yeah, cut the thing. What's this? Can I not check it? So, so, okay, so definitely pets, was that? What's that in the back? Oh, I thought that was like shadows or something. I think it's just blood. So, test subject, on the run. Probably gonna die. Can I call police? Ring, ring. 
911, help. Killer on the loose. Test subject. God damn it. Oh my god! I got it. Want me to be your mommy? Too fucking bad. I already hate kids. I'm going this way. Sayonara. <laughs> okay, what the fuck did you drop? Oh god. Is that a hand? <laughs> She's like, I'm never having kids. Claire Barnes is. 29, with great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Still, still terrified, she stopped at the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform them about the disturbing event she had witnessed. The police found nothing out of the ordinary on the on that stretch of the stretch of road. No signs of any crash or the presence of a mis any mysterious kid that man any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors of Claire's witness that night. She went on her she went on with her life trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all. That she probably just saw something. Not meant to be not meant to be seen. Yeah, that's because that's healthy. And I see the highway. Oh no, is that the end? No! I wanted more! <laughs> that was really good. Um, only problem I had with it, like I said, is the controls, but that's probably mainly because I don't know how the fuck to navigate. But uh, that was really good. I really liked that. Okay, so seeing as that one was a little bit short, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna make the video that short. Uh, we're gonna do the second game. Midnight Scenes, a goodbye note. Special to, okay. Uh, this short game you're about to experience is the second in my series, Midnight Series, a labor of love release for the first time in October 2018 and re released in 2020 in the special edition. Welcome, player from all dimensions. In tonight's episode of Midnight Scene, we follow Dr. Richard P. Griffin during the scariest journey of his life. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. Turn off the lights and relax. Wait. I can't really turn off the sun. It's kind of there. It's beaming into my windows. So. <laughs> the midnight scenes will begin after this quick word from our sponsor. Support your indie devs. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's adorable. I like that. More stars. That one looks like midnight scenes. <laughs> Short game. Like, I keep butchering that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> these are fun, though. I really like these. Are, are they going to connect, like, Claire and this one? Uh, Madison, my love, I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. Uh, if I had known that our goodbye at the airport would be what was to be our last, I would have told you everything. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. Okay, Dick. I'm, and I'm not, I'm not just like being an asshole and calling him Dick. I'm pretty sure like Richard like actually means like Dick. <laughs> I'll be gone just a few days. Madison, a week at most, I promise. I just, I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. I mean, making you cross the country out of the blue with almost no notice. We were, we were supposed to be visiting dad at the lake this weekend. You know I wouldn't go if it weren't important. That gas leak in the lab last night, it would put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No. It was only a small accident. Everything's under control. That's what they all say. And the virus gets out. And then you're texting, you know, Raccoon City is being all over my side. They just need me to do some paperwork. You know how these things are. I'll, I'll call you as soon as... I get to Washington, okay? Yeah, 
was the last time they ever spoke to each other. Good evening, sir. May I see your ticket, please? Uh, yeah. I totally didn't sail off a corpse. Where did I put- where did I put it? Honey, I lost my ticket. Richard, here. Thanks! It fell from your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something wearing? Everything's fine, my dear. I'll have to go now or I'll be late. I love you. So, Alright, sorry. You take the fucking thing. Here it is. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. I'm out, bitches! Tonight's episode. Goodbye now. Guy, do I gotta interact with people? Hi, hi, how are you? Hi, um, is there a seat not taken? I just, you know, I'll just sit right here. 5 a.m. I'm not sure that's my seat. I should probably check my ticket. Seat 5A, okay. I mean, I was just gonna go on whatever seat's empty, but yeah, I guess that's how planes work. I don't know, I've never been on a plane. Can I have a drink? Excuse me, sir. Let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No, thank you. I'll carry it with me. I'm sorry, sir. The regulations. It'll stay with me. Thank you. Jeez, Richard. Don't need to be such a dick. Taking this plane was a mistake. I trapped myself. <laughs> Looks like it's like a plane from like... Uh, the war, like 1950, or whenever, like World War Two, or whenever those planes, um, were made. Sorry, I, I'm not caught up on my World War knowledge. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. That's what they all. I swear, in every any movie or horror movie or whatever with a fucking plane, they always say turbulence. Just say it over the fucking comms. We're gonna die. I don't care if people start panicking. We're gonna die. <laughs> Please remain seated with your belts fastened. We're about to enter the Atlantic Ocean. Your wine, sir. You're not gonna be able to drink that because it's gonna be like, you're gonna have glass in your eye. You're gonna be dead. That must be a fucking terrifying ass experience seeing the lightning get that close. Can lightning make a plane explode, Mom? Shut up, dear. Just sleep. <laughs> just, just try and sleep, dear. <laughs> Mommy's trying to sit, take a picture of her OnlyFans. <laughs> hey, where did everyone go? Hello? What? No, 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 no. I forgot my flashlight. <laughs> No, leave me alone. What have you what have you done to all these people? You'll never get the Elizine Elizine Elysian? I'm sorry. <laughs> well I'm alive, you hear me? Never <laughs> He's just like mumbling in his sleep, just like no leave me alone. No. Everyone's like, the fuck is wrong with that guy? We shouldn't have let him on the plane. My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got on this plane. It's because I got an ad that was said, Five miles away, big booba mommy milkers. So I was like, say less, and I got on the plane, and she was not five miles away. You knew I was hiding something. It all started last night in the lab. Flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry it's so late, honey. I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way now. No, I don't think the zombies will invade our hometown. The virus would never get out. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll go to Hillsman party now. I don't even have a present for him. And you know, and you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. Gotta fix my lab coat. Hello? Who's there? Are those the voices in my head trying to get out? What was that noise? It came from the control station. Oh, 
John, did you get me balloons for my birthday? Thanks, John. Oh god, that was terrifying. Clean room. I shudder at the mere thought of what we're keeping in there. Why would you keep something in the clean room? What the fuck? Hello? Dead body? This place is confusing. Oh, hi, Derek. Or, no, wait, here. Oh, uh, Linda. You scared me to death. I thought you were at... Cold Coleman's party with everyone else. Oh, oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. We might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. Wait, what? What happened? I was, do I was doing maintenance on the main console when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. I don't hear anything. I might be deaf. Did you hear it? I'm we might have a small animal trapped in the vents, but that's impossible. The whole area is sealed. It, is it though? I, I still can't hear anything. Linda, I'm, I'm definitely going deaf. Damn, do you think it might be a rat or, or a bird? Anything from outside the sealed unit would be enough to, to contaminate the whole air system and ru ruin months of research. I better get to the clean room and make sure the Ellie's is secure. Yes, good idea. We should be able to unlock the clean room doors from the, this console, but Coleman is the only one who knows how this thing works. Let's take a look. Please insert code. We need to use the correct combinations of the key of keys to enable the console. I know Coleman keeps a list of codes somewhere. I'll wait here until you find it. Please hurry up. And don't worry, Linda, I got this. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm kind of the master of pressing random shit and hoping for the best. It's no big deal. So just leave it all to me. <laughs> I actually did it. <laughs> um, so I think, I honestly don't know. Uh, I think it's uh, far right and then left and then up and then down. I, I just pressed random shit. Real present, Richard. Okay, the doors are open. I'm going in. Linda, I'm going in. Ooh, ah. Nothing looks out of place from here. I better go inside and take a look. Linda, if I don't make it back, tell my wife. I was seeing that enemy girl. She told me not to see, but I don't care. I know it's a, it's restricted access, but if you need any help <laughs> hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit into one of those suits. I don't think the regulations. Just kidding. I I know you have phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the control station. Don't worry. I forgot your name, John. I'll watch you from the control station as you get brutally murdered and eaten alive, possibly by rats. Okay, here we go. Z I turned on the comm system. Shout if you need anything. <laughs> hey, Linda, could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. I want it. Okay, 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 that's enough. Oh, I guess. Oh, hi, here. Much better, thanks. Also, Linda, um, you say you're on the comm system. Uh, I would like one bacon cheeseburger, some fries, a soda, cheeseburger with barbecue, maybe some KFC, uh, maybe some zucchini, and a slushy. You got all that? Also, add in a milkshake. You got all that? What do you mean, get back to the fucking job? Fine. Oh, y'all? I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever whatever it what is, it's probably gone. Are you sure? I'm 
not seeing anything that raises cause for concern, but just to be safe, I'll ask, I'll ask the maintenance team to re to replace the filters tomorrow. Better better safe than sorry. A screw, a big one. No fucking shit. How the fuck did you even get this job if you're that fucking? I better leave this alone. I wouldn't want to break the refrigeration system. Oh god. Hey Landa, did you find any rats yet? I think we I think we can officially declare this a false alarm. Everything looks normal. Linda, I'm done here. You can open the door. I think you should check the Ellie's and make sure it's intact. I really don't think it's necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, besides, I'd rather not open the secure compartment if it's absolute, if it's not absolutely crucial. You know, you know how much that thing creeps me out. Dick, <laughs> I do it for you, but you are the only person with fingerprint access. We both heard the noise. We don't want any surprises. Ugh, fine. Damn, Linda, you didn't have to call me a dick. Oh. Well, that's fucking easy to miss, I feel. The LAZ and the reason, the reason behind all the secrecy surrounding my job at the lab and my many sleepless nights. It was found in Antarctica a month, a month ago with... And all our studies have been inconclusive so far. It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with hum humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. I knew it couldn't hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab under strict control, but it's not safe anymore. Its creators finally found it, and they want it back. Everything okay in there? No signs of contamination as far as I can see. Take it. Eat it. Come on, Richard, dance. You know, have a little fun in your life, you dick. Oh. Linda. If this is for a surprise party, it's not funny. What's happening, Linda? Linda, can you hear me? Linda, I told you my birthday's not for another two weeks. Linda? Oh, God. That ain't Linda. Who, who are you? Where's Linda? What have you done to her? What do you want? You came, you came for this thing, right? What is, what is it? What are you going to do with it? Probably destroy the entire human race. Just the punch. The temperature is dropping. That thing wants to freeze me to death. The suit will keep me warm for a few minutes, but it won't hold out for long. I gotta do something quick. I was terrified, blinded by fear. That creature t tricked us into opening the secure compartment to get the LZ. With Linda most likely dead. I felt the fate of all humankind weighing on my shoulders. So in the uh, so in the end, I did the only thing I could do, even if it was ultimately foolhardy and pointless. I found the strength somewhere inside to escape the lab with the LZ and run. You're coming with me, and I'm leaving. Emerald is locked. Uh, oh, your defense, maybe. This, this sensor controls the refrigeration system. I, I need to find a way to disable or disable it before it freezes to death. Couldn't you just take out the big giant thing? Detaching the cables won't didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break it or short circuit the refrigeration. The fuck do I do? I could try to short circuit it by joining the cables, but they are too short. I need something. Conductive should be conductive, and it's long enough to connect the cables. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, what is this? 
So you're the one who's making a racket in here. You're not a rat after all. But what the he But why the hell were you thrown in the vents? I don't know, it maybe is a distraction. Yeah, but I'm sorry, but if you're a scientist and I'm I guess you are, or I don't know. You're just not too bright. Like how the fuck did you even get this job? Damn. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Don't worry, I've, I've played a video game or two before. I've played Metal Gear before. I know how to crawl through a vent. Actually, <laughs> actually I haven't played Metal Gear, but I watched like a series on it. <laughs> I should take this the suit off. I can barely move. But first, I need to find somewhere safe to put the LED. I'm not touching it with my, my bare hands. Ah. Uh, Lead-coated uh, suitcase. They are perfect for carrying dangerous material safety, at least for a few hours. I love how, what's it call it? In any like movie or like anything with alien technology or whatever, they always put like a most dangerous fucking world-ending object in a suitcase made by humans. Like the fuck? Yeah, let's get in my car because. Oh, what the hell? What happened here? Hong Kong. Still in this car, she's not gonna need it. Also, another thing. Why is it always fucking Antarctica where, like, the most dangerous shit in the world that could. in the world at any moment is found? Shit, I need to get to read that. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in, in the lab that would keep me busy all night. My superior is uh, my superior in Washington told me to take place and bring the Elysian to our headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. And it wasn't. But in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside the this airplane and I had to find a way to avoid the Ellie Zane falling into the creature's hands. Oh, lightning, great. It's a good sign. <laughs> just starts panicking. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> come on, you want the Ellie Zane to come and get it. You'll have to you'll have to kill me like you did Linda and the passengers on this plane. <laughs> Why is it always, like, why do they always say that as well? Like, they act like they're fucking, like, obviously he wants something to end a world or at least end another planet. You think he really has a problem fucking killing you? Like, they act like, you know what? He wouldn't kill me. He's a nice guy. I can't allow the Ellie Zane to fall into that creature's enemy if I don't. And you can leave this plane as soon as possible, but killing myself or myself anything. Hey man, listen, okay? You said you went away off this plane, and somebody there, hello? The radio, I can hear the radio. I need to get in there and call for help. Can't reach it. Stop your little hands. <laughs> Come on, just a little more. <laughs> I give up. There we go. Oh god, it's flying on its own. That, cre that creature must be controlling it somehow. Uh. I'm gonna be honest, I never really took flight school. Hello, is anyone there? I need help. Hello? Damn, it's broken. Yeah, but I never really took flight lessons, so, uh. Yeah. Um, I mean, take the suitcase and then you can jump out. That is, and I can't leave without it. I literally just told you to. You always make the difficult, the most difficult decisions more difficult than they need to be. Oh, 
I thought you were dead. <laughs> we're in the snow? I thought we were levitating. Ugh. This suitcase. Here's what, you, here's what you wanna just come and get it. I do, come on, do what you want have to do. I don't care. I can't do this anymore. Aliens just like about time. Fuck, I'm making this so damn difficult. I guess this is how it ends. Wait, I guess this is how it ends. Madison, my love, <laughs> with my few moments left I have left in my life, I'm going to write this note, though you will probably never see it, because I'm in Antarctica. Also, I love cheeseburgers. <laughs> I, I don't know how, how to explain all this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much, not much time left for me. I thought it would be safe by now. Oh, Linda? Linda? Oh my god, your face! It's hideous! Oh my god. I'm such a fool, it was you from the beginning. I'll be taking this now. Please, I beg you, just, just tell me what the thing is. I need to know. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of had a feeling it was Linda at the start. I don't know. Just something about the name Linda. I'm sorry to all you Lindas out there. But just something about the name Linda. It's just... I don't know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It's been our eyes and ears here on Earth for more than a century now. Until you locked it in that stupid sealed room. Blocking it! It's transmission. Now just now it's working again. You'll have some really interesting neighbors very soon. No. Oh, here they come. No, please, Linda. Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. <laughs> the aliens. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you okay? It's the third time I've asked you if you want z z honey on your cereal. Something wrong? I'm fine. Don't z In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energized. I just been happy. Oh no, am I an alien? Did I get something probed into my mind? Am I a robot now? Oh my god, what the fuck is it with your face? I didn't get to read that. <laughs> Oops. Her eyes were like all white and stuff. Midnight scenes, the goodbye note. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, that, that was really good. So in the end, Linda was an alien. And we got tele... We got taken... To possibly another planet where they probed our minds and I see I don't really know <laughs> they definitely did something with our minds I have a feeling um I feel like they did something to our minds and like maybe made us like I or like took us to another planet and now we're there and we think that's our world but it's not I, I don't know it's all it's all very confusing but that was really fun thank you players streamers and viewers but yeah that's gonna be it for me um if you guys have any game suggestions you'd like to see me play leave them down in the comment section down below but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did don't forget to punch that like button in the face like a pirate also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video